Hi guys, this is Manali from Cook with Manali and today I'm sharing this easy sweet recipe for the festive season. So this recipe takes only 20 minutes to make. Uh, I love making Indian sweets at home, but let's be honest, most of them can be quite time consuming. So for this festive season, if you're looking for an easy sweet, which can be prepared in no time, then this is just the perfect recipe for you. Uh, this almond barfi, it uses store-bought almond flour, which cuts short the process time uh, so that you can have the barfi ready in no time. So let's see how we make it. To a pan on medium heat, we are going to add sugar, water, rose water and cardamom powder. Stir this all together, let the sugar dissolve and the mixture come to a boil. So as soon as the mixture starts boiling, add the almond flour. You may sift the almond flour before adding to the pan, but I did not do it since this flour was super fine to begin with. Now once you have added the almond flour, lower the heat to low and use a whisk to mix it all together so that there are no lumps. Add a teaspoon of ghee and mix. The ghee adds flavor and also smooths out the mixture. Keep stirring the mixture using a spatula on low heat. After around 5 minutes, you'll see that the mixture has started leaving the sides of the pan. You have to cook this until you're able to make a non-sticky ball from this dough. After 9 minutes on low heat, the dough looks done. To check, I'm going to take a small portion from the mixture and roll it between my palms. As you can see, I was able to make a non-sticky ball from the dough. This means it's done. If I was not able to do so, I would have cooked the mixture for some more time. So now that the dough is done, I'm going to transfer the dough onto a parchment paper. Let it cool down a bit and then I'm going to grease my hands with ghee and knead the dough. If the dough looks little dry, you can always sprinkle some water while kneading. I did sprinkle very little water here. So once you have a smooth dough, place another sheet of parchment paper on top and then using a rolling pin, roll the dough to around 1 by 8 inch thickness. Now I'm going to apply some chandika work if you have it. Uh, these are edible silver leaves and they just make the burfis look very festive. Now trim the edges using a knife so that you have a square to work with. Now I'm going to cut the burfis. First I'm cutting the dough vertically into four equal parts and then horizontally to make square burfis. Then garnish each burfi with a sliced almond on top. Don't they look festive and just perfect for the festive season? So these badam barfi were done in just 20 minutes. So easy, right? It's one of those sweets uh, which you can make for any festival or any celebration. Just because there's no prep work involved, these come together really quickly. You can even make these uh, kesar badam barfi by simply adding some saffron strands to the dough. Uh, if you want to make these vegan, just uh, substitute the ghee with vegan butter and it should be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with yet another recipe. Until then, happy cooking and take care.